the last time it was an unexpected visit the last time i saw her warmth filled my chest i was happy to see her well and alive her life was always so turbulent and hard to keep up with but she seemed better now and here i was standing in front of her with a bag over my shoulder she smirked at my boldness and led me inside her footsteps as quiet as the silence between us in the corner of her room was a single glowing light we sat on her bed and took in the sweet aroma of the incense that swirled across the room. I finally lifted my gaze to meet her deep eyes, tinged of crimson, much like her lips that beckoned me to come closer. How could I resist the cool touch of her hand, the way her teeth glisten like seashells after the tide recedes or the familiar scent of her dark hair. She knew I could not, so she started with a soft kiss to remind me of our shared past and that she was harmless. As her kisses grew hotter, my defenses evaporated. Each breath chipped away at my shame. She traced my collarbones with her nails as she planted a trail of wet lips down the length of my body, searching for the spot. Her eyes, two sparks nearing the earth's core. The pulse in my neck told me I was her prey now. My whole being was aflame and only her tongue could settle me. I did not resist. I did not want to resist. I pleaded with her to make me her victim in a language of ahs and soft whimpers. She teased my desire by biting my thighs, uncovering the ruby gems underneath the surface of my skin. I closed my eyes as she took hold of my body and engaged in our sacred ritual. I was undoubtedly her chosen sacrifice, and she, my sweet death. After a moment, I opened my eyes, but she was gone. In my searching for her, I found something I failed to notice earlier. A small black creature in the dark corner of her room. I lay stiff in her bed once more, waiting for her arrival, even though I said it was going to be the last time.